Okay, so you guys, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be starting on my best friend's hair. Just so you guys can see how products work on someone else's hair other than my own. This is a braid up that we did because we were putting it on a wig. But now we're going to get ready to take all this down, wash, and silk press. I'm going to be using this clarifying shampoo by Cavell as well as their scalp and hair oil treatment. You guys have seen me use this before in a previous video in like one of my shorts. But I wanted to try this out because they gifted it to me. And I love clarifying shampoos. I know a lot of us are afraid of them, but there's no need to be because used properly, they are amazing for achieving healthy hair. So this is her hair completely taken down. We're about to go ahead and wash. Let's go. So I started off using the Cavella Clarifying Shampoo because it had been a couple of weeks since we washed her hair. She had in a sew-in before this. So I wanted to really make sure I go in with a good shampoo that's going to really cleanse the hair and get out everything that needs to come out of her hair. And I'm showing you guys right here that I'm lifting the hair and sticking my fingers in to make sure I'm only scrubbing at the scalp and I'm not bunching up any of her hair so that her hair gets all matted and tangled. I wanna keep the hair as loose as possible during the entire shampoo process because it leaves a lot less to have to detangle later. And then I'm going in, after I use that shampoo, I'm using a little bit of neutralizing shampoo because her hair is highly porous. So I want to use some neutralizing shampoo to make sure I close the cuticles so her hair can retain as much moisture as possible. And I know this is something that I've talked about before on my channel, but sometimes I feel like um, something will stick, like information will stick in your head if you hear it multiple times. And for me in particular, if I hear it multiple times and I also see that thing in action, it sticks in my mind better for me. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. So I'm just drying her hair off and I'm going in with the Tresemme leave-in slash heat protectant. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite heat protectants because it's so hydrating on the hair. Um, I don't think I've come across anybody who whose hair just didn't respond very well to it. And I make sure I work that in. Every product that I use, I make sure to work it in throughout the entire head of hair. I always start on the outside then work my way to the middle of the hair, but I work everything into the hair. I'm using this Color Wow. Um, it's their anti-humidity spray. And I used it the first time, but I feel like a couple people were commenting and saying, you gotta like drench the hair in it. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll try it on her. And if it's hitting, I'll let you know. I gotta, I just have to know if this is going to work for natural hair because if it does, it's gonna be revolutionary, you know? <laughs> and then I'm going in lastly with the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. I think it's Super Skinny or um just regular skinny hair serum and i do all of this before blow drying when i go in with the blow dryer i'm just gonna blow dry and then go straight in again with the flat iron to soak everything out because i've already protected and i also already anti-humidity and all that good stuff and then we have the final product i did go ahead and give her a good trim it's been a while since she had a trim so i gave her a trim and i feel like the soap press just came out so beautiful so we'll see how long it lasts also she does have a few flyaways but we're gonna work on growing those flyaways out so we won't have to worry about flyaways anymore anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you did and leave a comment if you're gonna try this out